Aloha Honu, Mitsu Trove here, and in the last video I showed you how to make characters that have realistic proportion and are doing anything, but there's a couple more tricks I want to share with you. So this is the advanced version of that. You still need the same things, pencil, eraser, sharpie, or fine tip pen at the end if you want, and your unit. Again, I'm going to use this little pencil sharpener here. The length of that right there is my one unit. <clears throat> so I'm going to start just like before. But I'm going to think, okay, what is this person going to do? So I'm going to draw a person who's kneeling. Maybe they're planting a tree. Maybe they're at the beach and they see a seashell in the sand. I'm not sure. But I know that they're going to be kneeling and looking at something that's on the ground. So if they're looking down, maybe it's something over here, their head is going to be angled. So that first line I'm going to draw for making the head is going to be at an angle like that. And I'm going to turn that into the head. So just like before, I drew my length of my unit. And then I'm drawing this head circle around the outside, oval circle, darkening it as I go to get the shape that I want. Now, I know that they're looking down. And oh, I really want to think what this is going to look like exactly. You know what I do sometimes is I actually stand in that position or I get my body actually into it. Like I'm doing a snapshot so that I know what my body's doing. Go, okay, is my back bent? I think for this one, the back is going to be bent and the back is two units, one, two units, just like before. And I think the legs, hmm, one's gonna be kneeling down, but one's foot's going to be up. So I'm going to go one, two, then the knee, one, two, then the foot will go there. And then this leg's going to be a knee on the ground. One, two, and the knee, one, two, and the ground. So you can see this one's gotten more challenging because the head's at an angle, the back's at an angle, and these legs, I really had to think about how they're going to be. And there's going to be some overlapping happening too. Because now let's think about what are the arms going to do? We know the shoulders, hmm, they start a little bit down from the head because we have the neck. Back in my body position, I can look and think, well, what are my shoulders doing? Are they straight with my body? Are they angled a little bit? You can decide, even if you're just standing, but say you're catching a fly ball, one shoulder is going to be higher than the other. So think about what that should be for your person. I'm gonna do this one, hmm, angled a little bit, oops, I wasn't quite the right spot, a little bit like that. And then I'm going to have this arm that's closer. They're going to be reaching out one elbow and then bottom part and the hand goes there. And this one, this one, the elbow is going to be bent. I'm going to have it go down and across. Now I've got my skeleton, but these next steps I really want to pay attention to because like, okay, how do I have this arm go across the body there? Getting all that right, I gotta think it through. But you can do it. We can do this together. So, we're gonna still follow the steps. We've got skeleton here. Now we're gonna do the rib cage and the joints. I'm gonna make sure I get that rib cage in. It goes down about a unit down from the shoulders and it goes from elbow to elbow and I'm gonna make sure I put it in there just lightly okay and do that lightly because it's gonna be behind the arms and whatnot but 
before we do that, let's get those joints in there. Shoulder joints, elbow joints, wrist joints, hips. I'm gonna do that one really lightly too. Knees and ankles. Okay, now we're gonna connect the joints. I'm gonna do shoulder to elbow, elbow to wrist. Oh, that one was nice and easy. This one, I'm gonna do shoulder to elbow, elbow to wrist. I'm gonna have that arm be in front of this leg here. So, I know my legs, this one's gonna go hip to knee from that side, but behind that arm, hip to knee, knee to ankle, knee to ankle. And from up here, that top of that hip right there, hip to knee, hip to knee. And I just go very lightly, so, or not even touch it, where I've got that hand in the way. Knee to ankle there. Oh, I need the neck filled in. And I can hardly even see where my tummy is. It's sort of squished in there. But if there's any spots open, I can fill that in. Next, feet. I know if I'm kneeling, if I got in this position, I could check that this foot's probably back like that. And this foot is facing forward. This hand is reaching out oh, to my box and then add on my thumb. And this hand, I'm gonna make it holding a tool. I think my person is working in the garden. There we go. <clears throat> now, we're ready to give the person some personality. So, obviously the person's looking at something right here. Maybe they're actually holding the plant that's about to go in the hole there. Got some dirt there. I'll add more detail later. Here's sort of the root ball and some roots coming down so that they're gonna plant that in. So it's looking there. So the eye is looking this way. And last time I had it so you could see both eyes. This person's really in their profile. So we're only seeing one side of the face. So I'm gonna do that carrot that's open in the way it's looking, put in the eyeball. And our face changes shape when this is what's happening. Our, we've got the forehead actually goes in at the eye and out with the nose. And then give it a little bit more of a chin. Give it an eyebrow, mouth, and then might have an ear available, depends on the hair. Thicken that neck a little bit. So now we've started to have some personality. I'm going to make the clothes. The clothes goes around the body. Hmm. I'm going to have to decide how that shirt goes because my body's overlapping. Well, I know this arm's in front and the shirt would be behind that arm. And it probably is all scrunched up right there. Might even have some folds in it. You know what? It's getting hard to see what's what. I'm going to do some erasing. Erase the lines that you would need x-ray vision to see. Yeah. And I'm going to use my little pencil eraser because that can fit in there easier. And even then I have some lines to redraw just a little bit. I can still see what the lines are. And then I'm going to give some shorts. So I'm going to have this le hand, uh, leg in front of this leg. Hard to tell either way. And erase. 
what's inside there. Getting rid of the lines I don't need. Okay, getting rid of those lines I don't need. Making other lines show up a little clearer. I didn't put any shoes on my person. You know what? I'm just gonna put some slippers on. So that's easy. It's a line there, and then we'll shape under this under the foot. Just like that. And with your artwork, it's that time you put in really fine-tuning it. Oops, let's see. Really fine-tuning it. That's going to make it really come together. I'm realizing that I need to have this hand squeezing shut. And because it's on the outside, it needs to do that. So I'm changing this just a little bit. I'm still gonna have the thumb come up and I'm gonna have the hand shut. But that tree that I'm planting is going to be inside there and coming out like that. There we go. I've got the hole here. Holding the spade. So things to remember from this lesson is that your head, think about how the head is angling before you draw your circle. Draw that first line, whatever that angle is. Think about what angle your back is at. It's helpful to actually get your body into this position and pay attention to what your body is doing. Draw your skeleton paying attention to how many units each part is and if they're going to overlap just draw them exactly where they need to be but then when you start doing the joints mm -hmm. and the muscles going between them pay attention which one should be in front what lines do you want to have disappear behind erase the parts that you don't need pay attention as you do that and then just keep fine tuning as you go to make it as detailed and as specific as possible. Can't wait to see your next drawings that you do. This technique of drawing people it's challenging, it can take a couple tries. And you might already have your own ways of drawing people, but here's the thing, if you can get this way of drawing people down, then you'll know how to draw people in proportion, and you'll know how to draw people doing anything that you want, and then you can take this and then meld it back together with your own style, and you'll have so many more things that you are capable of drawing. Have a great day. Go make some art.